everyone. My name is Alexandra Novakovsky, as Joyce just said. Um, today I'm going to be singing Caro Nome from Verdi's Rigoletto.
good news. You're still standing. <laughs> Boy, were you phonating. <laughs> it's all good. But it's like it's this release of adrenaline afterwards, right? Oh, yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. I say this before, and, and the more I, I do these classes, the more I, I comprehend it. And, and it's hard for me to include myself in this category because I'm not observing myself. I'm in it, and so I'm doing my work. But singers are so brave. <laughs> So, so deeply brave, because especially to start off with this, right? You guys have it easy now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for coming out here. Thank you for jumping off the cliff. Thank you for taking the risk. Thank you for um, daring to go there, and then for releasing it at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, I'll try to contain myself, because, like, I secretly always wanted to sing this aria. <laughs> no, it never, never worked. <laughs> never worked. Um, but I do love it. And I love that we're starting with this also, because it's this case of um, everybody knows how it goes, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's very easy to come in and start singing it the way it goes. And it's easy for us on the other side to go, that's not how that goes. <laughs> or, oh yeah, we know how this goes. And they stop listening, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes there's a temptation then to start doing stuff to it, to make it interesting and fresh, and to put on your spin on it. And sometimes there's a temptation just to try and do it the way it goes. And I don't think either of those are hugely effective. It's fine, especially when you sing it so effortlessly. <gasps> it's amazing. I think the key, and this probably won't be surprising, the key is to go back and pretend that you're writing it and you're creating it. And you go back and you look at all the information that Giuseppe gave you and you go and you do all the work about who she is and what's just happened to her where she's coming from, and then search. Mm -hmm. Search. You're 15? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 15. And what's the difference between yesterday and today in your life? I just probably kissed my first boy. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I need a moment. OK. <laughs> That's major. Mm -hmm. Or okay. spoken, even talked to. Did he talk you back? Talk to you yeah, back? Yeah, yeah. He was oh. like, "I love you." I was like, "What?" <laughs> so. so the Earth is no longer in the same axis that it was the day before. Mm -hmm. You have changed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, your dad doesn't look the same. Your bed doesn't look the same. The world does not look the same. There's flowers. There's a sky. There's this. My, what is that that's happening here? What is happening, right? Mm -hmm. You are not the same person. Yeah. You're not the same person who practiced this aria yesterday. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of idea that, that, you know, of course you study it, but it's different. Um, and so now you're in the privacy of your own room mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. um, you probably don't have a best friend that you can be like, oh my God. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty isolated. Yes. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is, you're talking, you know, it's sort of Cinderella in a way. You're talking to the mice and the bedspread and the pillow and the flowers yeah, and, yeah. and it's this sort of sense of astonishment, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's, can we just go, first of all, it's um, a thrilling start, but it's also this naked start. To the aria, yeah. <laughs> so strategically, let's get out of the world of Gilda for a second. As Alex, the singer, strategically, mm -hmm. what's your setup for that first note? I'm trying to just think vowel, but mm -hmm. it's I, ever. I mean, no matter how many times I'll do it in the practice room, it's yeah. still like you have to be so engaged in order for that not to be good. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, so. that's how I would say the aria. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh. Um, is do you have any other? You're thinking about the vowel. Mm -hmm. You're thinking gua, about the onset. Gua. 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 And are you thinking of that onset? Sometimes what helps me is the idea of a ball, and I just when it bounces, that's the phonation. 
Gualtier, da, 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 and then subdivide. Okay. I would be subdividing that a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as much as I possibly could, I would be seeing him. Oh. Wow. Okay. Those, are they brown or blue eyes? They're blue. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> of course they would be blue. I know. Yeah. They're blue, and are they like blue green or are they like ocean They're blue? They're like sky. Oh, Bradley Cooper blue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bradley. <laughs> that would not help me phoning. <laughs> I'd be like, Gua. okay. <laughs> right. So, can you play the introduction for us? Da da di da di da. There's your subdivision. That's my heart, da right? di da no. da. <gasps> new day. Yeah, that's all you need. Just that, okay? It's a new day. Raindrops, um, snowflakes, petals coming out, flowers blooming, um, fizz coming out of the, the bubbles off of the ocean, his blue eyes, ding, 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 sparkling like the universe. You know, all of that. Also, it's your subdivision. Mm, da, da, di, da, di, da. There's my breath. Tss, tss. You know, then you're there. Mm -hmm. So use all of that instead of the tendency, which is hold, think vowel, think vowel, mm -hmm. think vowel, and you're in this set position, right? Yeah. Let the movement of the music awaken you. See those blue eyes, and you know enough now what the vowel is. So let it just go, ta 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 ta. And as soon as you say, you're already subdividing okay. on the vowel. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that. Of course, you breathe, but no. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just sing Malde. That was beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Feel it one more time and feel this. Um, all of these, what, I, what I'm going to get hopefully through this is that there's always you're on the front end of the beat. Mm -hmm. You never land on the beat because it's, and then he said, and then he looked at me, and then he said, I love you, and I love him even more, and, and it's, right? Yeah, active, active, wow, okay? We're gonna start one more time, and now don't pay attention to the moving notes. Listen to this first chord in the orchestra and let that be, okay? Stay there with that chord. Do you feel that weight of that left chord? And now, spin. Do you feel the energy that has? You're not sitting back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will, it's the same tempo, but this all of a sudden feels alive, right? Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. it's not Gualtier Mode, it's Gualtier Mode. That's where you're going. Now, you could go, Nome di lui si amato. Nome si amato. Si amato. That's the note that says how I feel. Mm -hmm. But you have to find it. Mm -hmm. It's amato. <laughs> it's inevitable. Not one millisecond of this should be inevitable. Okay. Choose, search. Where's it? Is it F sharp? Is it F natural? Because that minor chord at the beginning, right, it's like, where am I? Play it again, just, do you hear that? Of course, it's tragedy, we know that's coming, but you don't know that's coming. <laughs> Verdi. <laughs> but listen to the, listen, just listen. Play it, give it a bit of a resonance. It can mean so many things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
right? Mm -hmm. We know da, 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 de, da, but pay attention to that. That chord is the girl who's going to dress up as the page at the end and, mm -hmm. you know, be brave. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not just, <laughs> yeah, you know, she's, where does this girl find that strength? Where does that come from when she's been so sheltered? I hear it in that left hand. So let that be your, I'm a woman now and I know how to love and I'm going to love him till the end. And then how can I explain it? How can I, how can I tell you how much that's the right note, but you don't know it until you search for it. And that will help keep that C sharp alive. Go there. Okay. Can we start it one more time? And she should feel from you when you go, and that's that left hand chord, okay? Drink it in. See him. What's his name? What is it? Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, we can do one other thing because that was beautiful. Did you feel the assurity of that? Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that you love him until the end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if it's coy or subretish, it's predictable. Yeah. This. I see Gilda who will go to the end and she'll say, Dad, I love you, but I'm with him now. Mm -hmm. I see that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You feel it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think this dolce throws me off because I'm like, oh, it needs to be so quiet and, and precious and it doesn't need to be that. You know it, what I mean? Quiet, but it can be full of all Something. the knowing in the universe. Mm -hmm. I love him. Mm -hmm. Not like, oh, he looked at right, me and yeah. I, oh, he's just so cute. It's not that. Yeah. <laughs> that. That doesn't get us to the end of the opera. And also, God, Jesus, it's not interesting. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. Now, here's the other thing. This is about not taking things for granted. Not one millisecond. Justine, can you play right where she comes in? Listen. It's the same note that you sing, right? Gualtier, mm -hmm. Malde. What is it? Mm -hmm. Malde, I should know this, not my aria. Gualtier, <laughs> Malde. Gualtier. It needs to find something more, Malde. No, Do you hear that? Yeah. So that, <laughs> it's the same note but the universe changes underneath it thanks to the harmony. Don't sing the vocal line, sing the harmony. And to get there, it's not vertical. Gualtier mm malde, -hmm. Gualtier malde. It turns into it. Mm -hmm. You give birth to that new C sharp, even though it's the same C sharp. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you do. Okay, one more time. Feel that left hand and see how this, how this starts. Feel the weight. You love him. Yeah, do you feel that? Now it starts to feel like this is yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, again here, no medi Luis, Yamato, Tiscope, all of those anticipate, be on the front end of it okay. instead of landing on the beat. Yeah. Can we do no medi Luis? Mm -hmm. Search. 
it. Don't show it. Just feel it. And it's here. It's not here. It's here. <laughs> yeah. On. Why do you think all those little trills are there? Like heart palpitations? Yeah. Of hers? Yeah. Excitement? Yes. Um, little, we feel her youth here. Yeah, yeah. A little bit, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, what I would love is that somehow, not all of these uh, rests are exactly equal and each syllable having yeah. the same thing. So in, for that, when it starts, becoming a little bit automatic. We go back mm -hmm. to the text. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. um, I love when we've, we, you know, you have caro nome, da, 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 um, pal, pi, pal, oh, that L. Pal, pi, pal, pi. So you're, there's not actually a rest. It's, you take the time to say pal, pi, tar. Mm -hmm. This, mm -hmm. then le, delizia. How, how, are, how sculptural can you make each of those vowels? So, le delizie de la, le delizie de la. Yeah. You know, okay. sculptural, yeah. sculptural because, why? Because everything is new. You didn't know you had so many nerves in your body and every descriptive about him is the universe, right? Mm -hmm. And the most full of discovery. You didn't know those things existed. So it can't become festi primo palpitar. Festi pri, primo palpitar. Le delizie la di <laughs> and so each one of those go up should have a different quality. Okay. Mm -hmm. Each one should have a different catalyst, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? So can we go right from where you start, caro nome? And it's caro no. I would double that in a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit, mm -hmm. a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I would enjoy it. Okay. You're imagining the first kiss. This whole aria, the whole first kiss. What's it going to feel like? I don't, I don't. Have you guys kissed yet? It's not in the score. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more interesting if you haven't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but I think it's then it's that anticipation. Yeah, and you don't know what it's like but you know it's the greatest thing. It will be the greatest thing in the world. It probably won't be. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> at this point, you're thinking it will be, right? <laughs> right, yeah. So, It's a laugh, it's a desire, it's a scree, it's, it should be, each one of those should feel with a different catalyst. Mm -hmm. Okay, caro no. Okay. Then I would just love that the difference between the legato to the breaking has more invention, more reason. Right now I hear, it's very correct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's completely come scritto. <laughs> Brava, that's fantastic. It's a great place to start. But why don't you, why don't you sing ka, 
Rono, me. Why don't you do that? Why do you sing caro no? It could be it's too much. Ca if you said caro no me, it's too much. You're not ready to handle that yet. Caro no me, Paul. And give it, you're resonating it. This, of course, has to be resonated. It has to be phonated, all of that. But then you can play with it. Mm -hmm. Because also, because we know it so well, we hear it mm -hmm. anyway. Even You could even go, and we would hear it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? So, so take, take license that it means something, you know? So it also means that legato on caro is everything, and then you have to release it for some reason, right? And then search. No, that's not right. Maybe this will say how I feel. I don't know how to express all that I feel for Bradley Cooper. <laughs> so it's, it has so. You can be correct, and you can be inventing it and composing it on the spot, but it has to involve searching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, don't take one of these for granted, okay? Mm -hmm. What right where you start? G give us a little, in, a little intro. Thanks. Dancing. I want more. Finesse, more grace. Mm -hmm. Here, here, I, it sounds very solid. <laughs> this is what I hear. And it's beautiful, no question. And it's phonated, all those things. But finesse it, sculpture, make it, each one is its own painting, its own sculpture, okay? <laughs> that's going and that's good no turn into it I think one element that you can bring a lot more into this and you do it beautifully on the top is this pianissimo mm -hmm. but I don't do, I don't know if you feel like you have to give a lot of sound in yeah, the middle I think I do. no you do not okay. <laughs> bring us in bring us in bring okay. us in Am I correct? There's, this isn't really orchestrated. It's mm, blah, mm, blah. Yeah, and I'm yearning for you to, to that. Because when you just, we brought it down there a little bit, do you feel that that kind of goes magical? I thought, um, I guess I think when I sing like that, that it's not enough. Oh. Could you guys hear? <laughs> <from today? laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> You guys up for a little experiment? Yes. Let's challenge them to see how soft you can hear. And the minute you don't hear her, raise your hand. OK? Especially you guys in the back are up there. Could you guys hear her up there? Yeah. <gasps> really, I'm shocked. <laughs> 
So let's see. Let's let's. You know, they they came to the show last night. We all take chances and sing pretty quietly yeah. at different times. Could you hear us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were we in tune? Always. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> always. You're very kind. Okay. <laughs> so I want to go back. I want to go back to Caro Nome. Just take my time. I want to go back to Caro Nome, and I want you to challenge the audience as a game, and in in certain moments, flirt with us, seduce us with how soft you can go. I am telling you, this is the truth, that is what sets the opera world on fire. We get the loud notes all the time. <laughs> Thrilling if they've been set up right. Thrilling. But all this assault of sound all the time, it's not interesting, it's not human, it's not complex, and the music can handle so much more. You're a very acoustical singer, you're on your breath, it's beautiful what you're doing, trust it. Okay? okay. I'm coming back here too, just to make sure. <laughs> We'll let you know if we can't hear ya. Okay? Sculpt. very delicate and very beautiful and special. In that, we also hear her youth, right? All of a sudden, it becomes less, you know, woman in her 20s auditioning for uh, Santa Fe Opera. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we start to hear Gilda. And then, when you press the gas and you open up, it's thrilling. And also, we don't know where it's going mm -hmm. with all this fluctuation. And it's also, you don't know where you're going. You don't know what this is. You know what you've dreamt about. Mm -hmm. but you don't know what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. of this makes sense? Yeah, yeah. We may continue with this tomorrow, because okay. it's so much fun to work on and all of that. But also, you have um, uh, the Bellini. Mm -hmm. I'm going to want to hear that either tomorrow or the next yeah. day. <laughs> it's Bellini. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, Alex. Cool. So wonderful and really special. And this idea of crafting and painting and composing is going to be really central, especially to the kind of repertoire that you do. And it means you get to kick out everybody else from the driver's seat, and now you're in charge, mm -hmm. which is a big responsibility. She, you're in your second year at the Washington, or first year. First year. You'll go back a second year? I think so. Cool. Not confirmed. Well, <laughs> do I need to make a phone call? <laughs> <laughs> um, regardless, you're, you're in that beautiful transitionary stage mm -hmm. where you're going from young artist into the real world. And the difference between going out into the real world and taking it by storm and getting hired is, um, is the, the refinement and the daring, and the truth, and the mm, never taking that for granted. Mm -hmm. So this is, I'm so happy to be working with you, because like this kind of detail work, I think is really helpful. I know. At it's this like, point. When do you give yourself the permission to be the painter, you know? Say that again? When do you give yourself the permission to be the painter <laughs> of, the, of your art, you know? I just, I feel like I'm trying to, to do it, but I, it, you can do so much more. And you do so much, and I'm like, how does she do it? So I, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> so, so let me answer that 
when do you give yourself permission to become the painter? I guess today. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much.